Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? The power cable goes to that shed over there. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one of them. See if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I. I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBF FM. Now it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep.
cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. <laughs> 